The other day in my local radio club, a friend of mine asked me to help him with um, a Bofeng DM1801 like this that he'd recently bought. It had been loaded up with the open GD77 firmware and he just wanted to know really what difference that made to the radio and how to operate the GD77 uprated Bofeng. And I thought it actually might be useful to make a little video just pointing out the main features, the main advantages of the updated firmware and how easy it makes the radio to operate. So we'll start off, I think, by showing you how to key in any talk group. If you've got OpenGD77 firmware, you can direct key in any talk group you want. You just press the hash key on your radio once and you'll see you'll get the talk group entry screen. You can just type in the talk group of your choice. This is the Hubnet talk group in the UK. We press the menu button and you can see we're there and we just need to press the PTT key and we'll key that talk group up. If you want to make a private call or perhaps use the echo uh, feature, if we press the hash key not just once but twice, we'll see we have PC entry, that's for private call. We can then put 9990, for example, uh, in. We hit the menu key again, and we're on the uh, the echo function. You'll see that this radio at the moment is set to time slot 2. But if we press the star key here, you'll see it switches to 1. We press it again, it switches back to 2. So you can switch time slots just by pressing the star key here. And another neat little feature with the open firmware, if we press and hold the uh, lower button on the side, lower the two buttons, we press and hold that and we can actually dial down the power using the left key on the pad. We can dial the power down to the various settings that's within the firmware, 250 milliwatts, 50 milliwatts. By pressing the right hand key, we go back up with the power settings. So those are the functions on the radio that I use the most and find the most useful. I hope they're of some interest to you. By the way, if you have a GD77 with the firmware, it's very, very similar, but obviously you don't have the little square pad. The only difference is you have your left and right keys here, but your side keys are still the same. The functions are all the same. That's the menu button. So it's identical to... This one, just a slightly different layout on the up and down, left and right. All the functions are the same. And I think you'll agree that it makes it a much more versatile radio. Makes it much easier to program and much easier to operate. So there's some quick little hints on the functions of OpenGD77. I hope that was useful.